Welcome back. I don't know if all of you have been following every move I've made, every video I've made for this car, but a while back I talked about this passenger side inner fender being messed up. I showed you this slit in here. You know, it's it was evidently in the die when they stamped it, or there wasn't enough material here to fill that. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and take my angle grinder which I have over here is some sandpaper and all I'm going to do is knock this all down both sides to get the the coating they put on there off and then I'm going to dig out my welder and I'm going to weld, weld this closed and grind this down smooth both sides so I can go ahead and get it painted and get it in the car I won't be able to show you the welding process I don't know how to set up a camera where the flash isn't going to like blind you or mess with everything. So I'm gonna grind this down. When I get to that point, I'll show you what I did. And I'm gonna go dig the welder out. Back in a sec, got that sanded down. You can see, just roughed it up around both sides. Also on the inside, so the weld will penetrate. So I'm gonna go find my uh, welder, dig that out, get everything set up. And I'm going to weld this shut, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, forgot to mention, before you weld that, you should clean it, make sure it's nice and clean. So I've got my acetone, a little shop towel here, and I'm just going to go and wipe that down both sides, clean that off. Uh, welder's ready to go. So I'll get this cleaned off and get this welded. All right, yeah, hole's feel, filled. Um, I know it doesn't look like a professional job, but I'm not a professional. So I'm happy with it. I'm gonna get that buttoned up. Uh, one thing, always wear your, wear your safety glasses whenever you're grinding, and make sure you have your hood when you're welding. Uh, I learned the hard way about the goggles. When I was uh, grinding out to put floors in the car over there, I had a piece of hot metal flip into my eye, and that cost me somewhere around $75 for a quick visit to the eye doctor and get that taken care of, so. Just wear your safety glasses. I know everybody's like, ah, yeah, sure, right, uh-huh, yeah. Wear your safety glasses. It's gonna save your eyes in the long run and money in your pocket. Now I got that welded. I got it all cleaned up. I'm gonna paint the wheel well. I'm gonna paint the inside first and then the outside, but I don't use anything fancy. It's just a semi-gloss, dupla color, nothing crazy. Um, no fancy paint, no really, really, really shiny paint. I just kind of like the semi-gloss, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, be back in just a little bit, show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, I got this wheel well painted. As you can see, like I said, nothing fancy, just spray paint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put it in the car with the fender on, just like that. So I thought you guys might enjoy seeing um, if I screw this up or not. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work either. So we're in this together. Uh, I'll get this ready to go and get some bolts and I'll come back. Okay, I'm gonna go over and grab that inner wheel well and get started here. Put some tape on that thing. Well, that's not going very well. 
put some tape on there. They don't want to scratch this up. This I'm not too concerned about because this cover it. I still don't want to tear it up anymore than I have to. Uh, man, keep moving, see what happens here. Put up a fight. I think what I am, I'm stuck up here in this corner. What I'm going to do is grab a hold of it and give it a little massage. get a little pry bar that's just called a persuasion bar we're gonna try to be gentle about this not gentle enough there goes that clip I'm gonna go get me a different clip It might be a little loose. Climate tool. Climate tools are great. I can't see that very well. Maybe this one over here will work.
tighten them up. Still got to work on this clip. Get it lined up. I have two in here that I need to take care of. Um, you get the idea. You know, not bad. I mean, I didn't bar up much. I got a little bit of chip on the inside. Inside. Good idea. It's inside. And I got to get this uh, U nut uh, down. And I can get that one started. And I'm in business. Um, I'll be back in a little bit with more. Yeah, well, there we go. Like I said, I did nick it a couple spots, but a little touch up and it's on the inside. Got the bolts up here that need to be put in. All the bolts around. I do have a plate that's got to go in here yet. I still got to find that and get that in there. Uh, the only problem I had is this hole down here does not line up with this hole. So I don't know if that's a fender well defect or what. It should have lined up. Everything else does. I can pull it forward, but the hole's still back here, not up there. So I think I'm going to live with this. But, you know, Taiwan, what do you expect? Uh, back in a little bit. Okay, down there at the bottom, down here where this hole doesn't line up, what I'm going to opt to do is I'm going to make a hole back in the bottom of this fender right where that uh, unit is, and I'm going to put a bolt further back. That way it is pulled down and it's going tight. So I've got a little mark under there, so I'm going to start drilling and hopefully I hit the center of that and just make the hole a little bigger. A step bit. Enlarge that hole a little at a time. And that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to push this fender back a little bit. Try to clear that. Why don't I just clamp that up closer? Little pair of vice grips. out great. Problem solved. So get our wheel wells in. Nice and tight. I'm gonna go find this little plate and figure out how that goes in. Uh, be back in a minute. That's a good one for you. How many damn stickers do you need to put on a piece? I see one, two, three, I see four. Four stickers just on this little piece of metal. I mean, seriously, Taiwan? This one I see three. Three. What the hell? Oh well. Either way, I found them. I gotta get these stickers cleaned off. I gotta make sure these fit. And then I'm gonna paint them. I'll be back. Well, a heat gun and acetone. 
Took that off. The heat gun really peeled it off, but I still had that sticky part left on there. Acetone cleaned that up. So I'm gonna paint this. And we got both of them painted and let them dry here. And I'll get that installed. Um, you seen how the fender well goes in? That's how I'm gonna do the other side that's sitting over there. I still have to clean it and paint it. But really not much to it. You gotta fight with it a little bit. But take your time and you probably won't scratch anything. Like I said, I put two very small nicks in it, which I'm really good with. So, hey, I'll touch that up. No big deal. Uh, if you find my videos helpful or just entertaining, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Later. Okay, I thought I might be ahead to put this fender flare on before I put that metal piece in there. I can get to the nuts behind it right now. Once I put that piece of metal in there, I will not be able to get back here. So I thought I better go ahead and put them on now. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's just two bolts that's sticking through. All I gotta do is put washers and nuts on there. So I'm gonna do that right now. No sense in boring you with it. Like I say, it's just a couple nuts and some washers and then some screws on the inside of the fender. So I'm gonna get that taken care of and I'll be back. Wow, what an attitude adjustment. Those flares make a difference. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Makes it look very aggressive. Like I said, it was just some screws, two nuts, bolts, a couple screws, nothing big. Uh, I still got to put this plate in that goes in here. It should be dry by now, so I'm going to go grab it and put it in. Let me show you that little panel in there. You can see the two bolts and everything. I had to trim it up here because they hit this lip on the bumper bracket. So that had to be notched a little bit. And down here on the bottom, where the fender runs over, this piece kept hitting that fender. So I had to cut a little V or a little piece out of there so that would push all the way up so I could put the bolts in. But hey, fender flares in, wheel wells in, brackets are in, Troy's happy. Now I gotta do is do the other side and I can't do the other side until I paint that extractor because I won't be able to reach up there and put it back in. So I think I'll be uh, working on that other inner wheel well, getting it ready to paint and I'll find that extractor, which I know is over there on the table, get that sanded and get it repainted. Um, progress uh, later.